Hey guys, so in this video, we're back for stocks by request. And as you all know, Jollibee, up until now, is one of the most requested stocks in social media. That's why we're going to talk about Jollibee once again. But I'm thinking of, since I have a lot of time to do the vlog today, aside from Jollibee, I want to talk a lot about consumption stocks as well. Maybe I'll include Pure Gold, URC, uh, maybe some Pure Foods, Pizza, Max, and maybe BCNPF as well. So stay till the end of the video to see how many stocks that we get to tackle. But if you guys want any other stocks that you guys want me to analyze and be maybe be part of the next video, put them in the comment section and put stocks by request. So for those who don't know me, my name is Marvin Grimo. I've been investing in the market for more than a decade now. And the reason why I create videos like this, particularly stocks by request, is basically I just want to educate Filipinos. I want to teach them the right way of trading and investing in the markets because at the end of the day, if you know what you're getting into, you have a style, you have a strategy, you have a narrative, you know how to pick your stocks. You won't have to rely on hype. You won't have to rely on speculation. You just have to uh, do your due diligence, do your own analysis, and at the end of the day, allow that to help you trade the markets with confidence. Because I've been saying this over and over, the strength of investing in the stock market is you following your strategy. It won't be perfect. You'll make mistakes off of it. But better ride and die with what you are good at and what you know than just keep on guessing, relying on someone else's analysis. So that's where we are right now. So very, very quick analysis on the PSC. As you can see, it's still continually consolidating from where it is right now. If you'd notice it, I'll put a resistance here. You would see this are uh, specific resistances that you have to watch out for for the PSEI. And as you can see also, it's nearing and closing and honing into the 50-day moving average. So uh, let's start with Jollibee. I forgot to mention this while I was introducing myself. If you get so much value in the, from this channel, I would appreciate it if you could subscribe and hit the bell. And press the like button. As you press the like button, it helps the YouTube algorithm show this video to more and more Filipinos. So appreciate it, guys, if you can subscribe and hit the bell so you get updated every time. Now, let's look at Jollibee. From a trend perspective, you will basically see this. Uh, you will see that as of today, still, nothing much has changed. From last week, no, this was, uh, if you look at last week's movement, you would actually see this. One, two, three, four, five. This is where we did the trades from last week. So if you notice it, from la even from last week, it's still moving in this tight uh, range. You know? The range of 133 and the resistance at the 149 level. So if you look at it and analyze it further, you have from April all the way to where we are now in May. For a, for a month or so already, um, Jollibee has continued to move sideways with the support at 133, with the resistance at 149. If you also analyze it well, it touched the 149 resistance around three or four times, then it did it again here, uh, two th twice by the end of April. Then it hit our support once here from the breakout. Then it tried to do it one, two, three, four, five, five days also here, then it's trying to do it again. So Jollibee, from a short-term perspective, is currently at a apex or at the decision point, who is going to win? Will it be buyers or will it be sellers? That being said, also, you, you see the 133 support level. If you see the 133 support level, if that does not hold, the current narrative for it is basically it could possibly go back to the 107. Because if you look at this entire space here, there's no support holding it. There's nothing protecting it. There's nothing that is that will shift no, if something happens and this does not hold, there's such a large gap that could cause it to go down. So if you own Jollibee stock and you're doing quick trading, please do note that this is your downside risk if the 133 level does not hold. And I'll say this over and over. What technical analysis does is it does not forecast. It does not guess. It does not uh, It does not allow you to make uh, a, get, uh, a forecast on where it will go. It's basically risk management that if... The 133 level does not hold. You have a 20 plus percent downside because every time a stock breaks down from a support, it will most likely go uh, to the next support level, which based on this chart as of today, as of the time that I'm making this video, is at the 107 mark. Now, if Jollibee bounces from 133, then the common narrative is it goes all the way, bounces, 
to the 149 around close to 150 level if you look at it as well here the 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 distance there is around 12.6%. So you have a downside risk if it fails to hold 133, it could possibly go to 107. Or if it bounces, then it most likely will go to the 149 slash 150 level. That being said, also, if it breaks past the 149, 150 level, uh, resistance target will be at around the 180 level. If you're looking at it from a shorter perspective, you could peg it also at the 168 level, which also coincides to where the 100-day moving average is. So please write this down. Your resistances currently are 181, 166, and 149 slash 150. Your support level is 133, and then you have another support level at the 107. MACD is more bullish already than where it was, say, mid-April or March or even way back February and March. So Jollibee is in a much better position MACD-wise than where it was a couple of weeks ago. Now, from a trend perspective, I, I started with the trend, but I, I, I forgot to get out of it uh, or at least to show it to you. Um, the downtrend is still intact. Uh, there's still no shift. There's still no changes. Uh, the movement down is still there. It has already bounced, though, because of oversold levels. It has already bounced, though, because at 90 pesos, Jollibee was ridiculously cheap also uh, because at 90 pesos, there were a lot of people who were bottom-picking, who have longer time horizons, who can weather this volatility that have started to buy. But fr from, an, from a... Position trading perspective per se, we have to wait until it sees until it until it reverses fully. So that's the possible movement for Jollibee uh, for the week. If you notice it, from where we were last week to where we were today, nothing much has changed. So comment below if you guys have more questions on Jollibee, and I'll try to make more videos off of that. Uh, we are at the seven minute mark, and I mentioned a lot of videos. Now I said. Pure Gold, I said URC, I said Pure Foods, I said Max, and I said Shaky. So most likely what I'll do if this video drags on, no, I'll try to make two, I'll split this into two videos. If this is coming out at 8, the next probable video will come out at around 9 o'clock uh, for you guys to watch as well. So this is where Jollibee is. And as you all know also, uh, there there was a meeting uh, between the Manila mayors or uh, the Metro Manila mayors a few hours uh, yesterday uh, to decide on whether they will extend the uh, the quarantine or the ECQ in Metro Manila. Will they will they extend it for fifteen days? Will they make it a GCQ or will they lose? Will they make it a GCQ but block some of the more problematic barangay? So, uh, the, 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 I think they haven't decided yet. It will ultimately be decided upon by. Uh, by Duterte, uh, but at the end of the day, this will also determine you know, how how impact how how big of the impact will be further for uh, for retail for consumption because they're one of the most hit. And if it if the quarantine will extend longer, then again more and more of their stores will still be closed. And if you do know, Metro Manila is around 70% of the GDP of the Philippines and it being locked down, it being closed will mightily affect uh, all of the other services that we have as well. So that's for Jollibee. I want to, siguro what I'll do na lang, no, since we are uh, dragging on in this video, I'll put Max and maybe Shakey's here. Then for the next video, I'll put maybe Pure Gold, Costco, uh, CNPF URC, so at least it's segmented, uh, in a in a way, you know, that it, that we're talking about and analyzing companies that are in almost the same industries, but they're all highly connected to consumption. I hope you guys are learning while we're doing this video. Comment, I'm learning. If you're learning, and it's amazing, you know, we hit one hundred six thousand subscribers just a few hours ago, and we hit one hundred thousand just a few weeks ago. So. That, that seemed like something that was so far off already. And thank you to you guys who have been subscribing. I, I just wanted to say, and I forgot to mention this also, I have another channel. It's called Marvin Germo Podcast. Uh, the link is in the description, but it's a new channel catering to a different type of content. If you guys want to learn more above and beyond purely the stock market, I hope you can you can jump over to that channel too and like, subscribe, and share it to more, more friends, more people, because we really want to see more Filipinos be financially free, and be financially educated. So Jollibee, let's look at Max. 
So as you all know, Max is in the casual dining scene. Jollibee is more into fast food. If you try to analyze also Max, uh, Max basically is Max Restaurant, Pancake House, Dentros, Krispy Kreme. Uh, they, they, they also have teriyaki. They also have teriyaki boy, and they also have yellow cab. So their 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 price point is much higher uh, than Jol Jollibee's price point, but. Uh, they're catering also to a different type of market. One thing that I'd like to note is, of course, uh, there there will be people who will be able to afford the Jollibee, uh, jo the, the price point of Jollibee, but not everyone will be able to afford the price point of Max, Pancake House, Yellow Cab, as it's, it's a bit higher. And uh, we... In an era where mas madaming tao magtitipid ngayon, and even more people are cooking right now, eh. so you you see it during Mother's Day. Most of most people are out and about. Most people are celebrating. This is one of the days similar to Father's Day, similar to Christmas, similar to Valentine's Day, where people are out and about and spending. Uh, but because of this lockdown, because of this quarantine, because of this new era that we are in, uh, like us at home, we just basically stayed here. Uh, we cooked and we didn't go out. Normally, we would go out. Normally, that we would spend money and go out. But uh, times have changed. Things are different. People are uh, staying at their houses. So this might greatly impact the Max group unless they continually pivot and make a lot of money from online deliveries, takeouts, uh, pickups, etc. So similar to Jollibee, you'll basically see this, that it's already consolidating. The main range for max consolidating is 6.8 as its resistance level, 5.9 as its support. If you also try to notice it somewhere here, I'll try to zoom in so you see it. Uh, it's it, the 20-day moving average, the 50-day moving average, and uh, this the 6 peso support line is honing in and zoning into each other. But, but if it does not hold that level possible, uh, limit is it goes and retraces here. But if it bounces already, then its shot and its move, it will go to the 6.8 level, which is where our resistance is. So this entire range is around 14%, but if you notice this, Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday. It hit the resistance last April 30, then resistance again, in between, in between, in between. So the last time it was at the support was April twenty four, which roughly was more than two is more than two weeks from where we are right now. Stayed at the support for three days, then went back up to the resistance. So, uh, if you notice, there are segments where it stays close to the support. First, there are segments where it cl stays close to the resistance also. And what we're seeing right now is it still dropping from the resistance all the way back to where the support is. So the resistance is 6.8, the support is as close as we can to 5.9. So please do remember this, uh, for max, if it stays above 5.9, narrative is it, it will bounce and target price is the 6.8 level. Uh, if it breaks out from the 6.8, you can jot this, the next possible resistance is at the 7.7 .7 level and the next possible resistance is at the 9.2 level. On the negative side, naman, if the 5.9 level does not hold, it could possibly go to 4.9. And if that level does not hold, it can go to 4.3. So that's how it looks like and that's the progression for it. Please jot it down. Support 5.9, 4.9 next one, 4.4 is the next one on the upside. 6.8 is the resistance, 7.7 .7 is the next resistance, and 9.2 is the next resistance as well. So from a trend perspective, you notice it all already from, from a short term, at least from April 15 to where we are now. It has moved sideways in a narrow, narrow range. From the drop from March to where we are now, it's still sideways with a larger with a larger move up. Please do note that after it has moved up from April, it's already up 58%. And similar to other stocks that we've been analyzing, a lot of them have already moved up significantly, hence uh, the justification of it moving sideways, since really there's no catalyst causing people to uh, buy more. Main underlying trend is it's still down. Again, the market is a forward-looking market. They're already anticipating that uh, retail will take a big hit this year, retail will be one of the most hit in terms of uh, in terms of in terms of people's spending since they can't go out, they can't really spend. So, uh, if you notice it, uh, if you've been following me for the longest time, 
my, one of my styles is I basically follow where the ma macroeconomy is, and I've been saying it over the past few years that the Philippines is a consumption-driven economy, that as long as Filipinos spend, the economy will thrive. But now we have something that threatens consumption, and this is a big one. If in 2018 everyone was so scared about inflation, it moving up because of train law, fast forward two years later, we are in a bigger challenge. We are seeing, we are walking in something that's so different from uh, something that it, it's this is something that we have not experienced before but if there's one thing i do know is this this is where your fundamentals will play a very 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 big uh your knowledge and fundamentals is so important in all of this because if you know fundamentals very well in times of crisis bad companies will be in trouble but the good ones thrive the good ones reverse the good ones rebound so it's your ability on spotting who are the good ones because eventually the good ones are the ones that will continually reverse and sometimes the bad ones may not even survive the crisis so we started with Jollibee we're talking about Max then I want to talk about uh, pizza which is way close to also their business model so pizza if you notice everything looks the same though and that's why I like stocks that's why i love technical analysis because the way you analyze one stock is the same way you analyze another and the signals are pretty much the same so if you try to look at it here I'll, i'm putting the resistance for uh shakies over here then i'm putting another support level here uh for shaky slash pizza you have 6.18 as your support then you have 6.86 as your resistance bounce from 6.18 target price is 6.86 if it does not hold the 6.18 level possible downside target will be 5.2 to as low as 4.50 as what i did in the previous videos uh in the previous examples measuring it from the highest point it's up also 50 plus percent that's why uh again people are that's why that's why there's a notion that it's starting to move sideways already because a lot of people have bottom picked. Some of them are uh, taking profits, but there's still people buying, but no one wants to buy it higher than where it is right now. Hence the sideways movement, hence uh, the consolidation from uh, its movement when it was lower. So resistance is 6.86, support is 6.18, 6.18 does not hold 5.2. 5.2 does not hold 4.51 are your next support ranges next is basically this you could add 8.93 as your resistance then you could add 9.6 as your next resistance so please jot it down uh if it bounces from 6.18 target price is 6.86 breaks out from 6.86 the next resistances for you to watch out for are 8.93 and 9.6 so that's how it looks like from a trend perspective it's still consistent similar to what we're seeing for Jollibee similar to what we're seeing uh, for Max it's still pretty much on a down uh, it's still pretty much on a down trend let, let me just fix the let me just fix the line so you see it clearer and better uh, so if you connect this to this so it's still pretty much on a downtrend as of this point in time with uh it, it could reverse but we still have not seen it start to reverse yet and that's what's so interesting about technical analysis we do not guess we do not speculate we just take things for what it is so this is the first half of the video an hour or an hour and a half after this uh the second part will come out where we're going to talk about consumption stocks again. I or, I already posted a video of Wilcon, so it will not be included in the next video. You can just go back to the video before this where we talked about Wilcon. But uh, after this, more consumption stocks, Pure Gold, URC, uh, maybe Pure Foods, and we, we also add CNPF in the mix. Or unless you guys have other stocks that you guys want me to analyze, put them in the comment section and we're going to try to make videos on top of that. Um, before we go, I just want to make a quick plug, and I say this in every video. I have five books. Uh, links to those books are in the description below. You can click them, or they're all via Shopee. They can send it wherever you are in the Philippines. So Shopee is already operating, and they can send the books to you guys. For those who want to learn more about the basics of the stock market, the basics of investing, the basics of technical analysis, and the basics of fundamentals. And if you are in an area where Shopee does not deliver it to, there's another link there where 
international orders or other areas in the Philippines that Shopee does not cater to, you can click that link and it will it we can send it after the lockdown uh when the lockdown when the lockdown ends. So that's where we are from the a book perspective. Then for those who want to learn online, three online courses, they're in the description below. They're they're about investing in this times. So that's next Friday with Sean C via Zoom. Then we have two more, one with Chinkitan, it's called Stock Market for Everyone. Then another one called Make Money, Grow Money. It's about business, entrepreneurship, investing, and the stock market with Sean C. So everything is in the description below. You can enroll, learn, and build your skills during this lockdown. And I just want to mention this. I have a second channel, Marvin Germo Podcast. Uh, link is in the description. I hope you guys can support that. Uh, it's all about business, entrepreneurship, success, personal finance, saving money, how to get rich, how to get your first 10 million, how to get your first 100 million, and everything else in between. And we interview a lot of people. We've been interviewing a lot of successful people where they're, they're sharing their insights and stories with one goal in mind to be able to help you. So if there's anything that interests you, everything is there. If you want to see all of my other YouTube videos, I put a playlist, I place a playlist in the description. You can check that or you can just go to the playlist tab to check our other videos there as well. So that's it for now. See you in an hour to an hour and a half for our next set of videos for Stocks by Request. And I really do hope that you stayed. No? We're at the 21-minute mark. Comment below if you stayed. Comment if it's helping you. Like this video if it's helping you and it's giving you value. And it, uh, the more people like this, the more YouTube gets to share this to more Filipinos that want to learn more about investing. So I guess that's it for now. This is Marvin Germo. I hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all again soon, guys, and God bless you all.